Good morning students. All well? I hope you all will be in the pink of health. Okay. Today I am going to elaborate upon the editorial letters. The editorial letters fall into the category of formal letters. So while writing the editorial letters, we have to keep in mind certain points. We have to follow certain rules. So what are those points? What are those rules? So I am going to teach you today okay, what you have to follow while writing the editorial letters. So first of all, we have to see okay, what is the exact layout, what is the exact format of writing an editorial letter. So first of all, we have to follow the full blog style. Full blog style means we have to keep the lines to the extreme left. We have to start the lines from the extreme left. This is the full blog style. We have to follow the open punctuation style. So see, first of all, we have to write the sender's address. We have to write the self address. So while writing the sender's address, we have to keep in mind some points. First of all, if this address, sender's address, has been given in the statement, the same address we have to write. Here, with the self address, we have not to write the name of the sender. Only the address and this address should not exceed three lines. After the sender's address, we have to leave one line. Give space. After the sender's address, we have to write the date. See, 25th August 2020. We may write the date in this way, this way. For that day. After that day, again we have to leave one line. Here, below the date, we have to write the receiver's address, the recipient's address, the address of the address. Means, we have to write the address of the person to whom we are going to write. So see, the editor. T capital, E capital. Who's editor? The name of the newspaper. The name of the magazine. See, the Hindustan Times. T capital, H capital, T capital. If this name, the name of the newspaper, the name of the magazine has been given in the statement, the same name we have to write. After that, we have to write the city, the name of the city. After the receiver's address, below the receiver's address, again leave one line. And below that, write subject. See the subject. Environmental degradation. The subject must be highlighted. It must be underlined. And below the subject. Here we have to leave one line. We have to give space. And below the subject, we have to write salutation. See, sir, dear sir, D capital, S capital, respected sir, R capital, S capital. Below salutation, we have to leave Again, we have to give space, we have to leave one line. And then, body of the letter, content of the letter. The body, the content, is generally divided into three paragraphs. So, in the opening paragraph, in the first paragraph, we have to introduce the subject. We have to introduce the problem. In the second paragraph, we have to highlight the problem. 
we have to give the reasons and in the third paragraph in the concluding paragraph we have to write the remedies solution and one thing that is the most important that is here in the opening paragraph in the first paragraph generally what we do we just like to draw the kind attention of the editor but here editor has nothing to do with the problem we have not to draw the kind attention of the editor we have to draw the kind attention of the concerned authorities or we have to make the journal public aware aware of some see let me give you some examples see the subject and my mental degrees here the editor has nothing to do with the environmental degradation here we have to draw the kind of attention of the concerned authorities towards environmental degradation or we have to make the journal public aware of see the reckless driving by the youngsters flouting the rules of the traffic by the youngsters again the editor has nothing to do with that problem again we have to draw the kind of attention of the police department the superintendent of police see obesity ill effects of junk food ill effects of effects of fast food so again the editor has nothing to do with this problem we have to draw the kind of attention of the general public the teenagers the youth towards the ill effects of the fast food after that see the complimentary ending complimentary ending complimentary closing to see see thanking you t capital y capital yours faithfully y capital f small after that signature and then name of the writer in capital letter see bachche generally in formal letters editorial letters official letters we write yours faithfully we may write faithfully yours also f capital y small dear ones i was telling you about the open punctuation style to see what is the open punctuation style here we have not to use we have not to put comma no full stop no comma no comma no full stop after salutation after sir after dear sir after respected sir no comma no punctuation mark see after thanking you no punctuation mark yours faithfully no apostrophe generally students are in the habit of putting apostrophe putting comma here so y capital has small signature and then in capital letters name of the writer thank you thank you very much